Welcome to Best Kept Secrets Travel, episode bonus. My name's Morgan. And I'm Will, and on bonus episode two. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for that. Morgan's Morgan's going to quiz me today. Well, it's, it's, it's not necessarily a quiz. The quiz is next week. We are going to do a quiz. This is more, a bit more self-reflection. So, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to counselling <laughs> yeah. with Morgan Saville. How do you feel internally? Pretty good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, pretty good. Apart good. from the food poisoning the other night. Oh yeah. <laughs> how do I feel internally? You know, I had food poisoning the other night. So actually, Poisoned. still average. <laughs> right. Should we roll the intro? Let's roll the intro. Best friends and that's for life. Who stay traveling? I'm talking worldwide, 65 countries between the two. Every moment is so unbelievable. Sharing the best kept secrets about the trips and mistakes they made that they can't forget. So tell me if you're ready for a time to remember as they gear up for the next adventure. Yeah. Woo. Best kept secrets travel. So we first probably set up the studio and thought about the podcast back in march best kept secrets travel started posting videos in january weekly and there are more are you going to give years of these for people you've just said march <laughs> in march 1997 <laughs> march next year obviously march this year was when we started talking about it well the podcast we spoke about the podcast before March. Uh, my, my, we yes. filmed our first one in March. That's that's kind of what I'm getting at, yeah. No, no, no we, we discussed it much prior to March. Well, yeah, we didn't just... Okay, right, I we didn't, started filming I didn't March. just turn up at your house one day and go, all right, here's the plywood. <laughs> Isn't, was it, it not, wasn't it's, even plywood. It's not even plywood, it's chipboard. <laughs> We're not good anyway, enough for plywood. Anyway, so we first recorded in March. We thought about it for a fair bit before that. And then we were suddenly ready to get it out there and just went for it and committed to making... Well, we weren't ready. We posted in June. <laughs> that was a... Is this already self-reflection about how much chaos there was at the beginning? <laughs> There's chaos right now. The episode goes live in a couple of days. That's fine. That's, That's fine. fine. This was yeah. only filmed a couple of days ago. How do we think this whole season's gone? <laughs> <laughs> I think the past two minutes sums it up pretty well. Well, we if it was organised. We filmed certain... our first ever episode about six times before we yeah. filmed the one we decided we were going to use. Because we, it was so bizarre sitting in front of a camera, having a microphone and talking to essentially, we know that We've got amazing viewers and listeners now, but essentially no one in our minds. We were talking to a piece of technology. I was talking to him. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> uh, and we noticed all the... And then suddenly when you're on camera and you're speaking on camera, you suddenly see all these habits that you have. <laughs> yeah. For example, Will's a bit of a dancer when he speaks. I use my hands a lot. That's why it's quite handy now having yeah. this microphone on my lap. Can sort of stop now I'm, I'm a fidget, so <laughs> the old microphones around. picked up your breathing. Yeah, the old <laughs> microphones just picked up any time I breathed, which was, I mean, you need to do it. You don't need to move around, but you need to do it. And then other things we did, we, um, I say yes a lot when I run out of words to say. And words. And you said words a lot. So a lot of our edits, which you guys fortunately do not have to put up with, was Morgan and I would have a beautiful conversation going. It'd be going really well. And Morgan's mind goes blank and he goes, words. <laughs> then we'd have to restart the whole edit again. Well, I wasn't editing. I didn't mind. But we had different episodes as well. So even just before doing this, because we moved to our bonus episode studio, otherwise yeah. known as... We don't have a studio, so we're using a random area. Yeah. We're not even used to this process. This is a completely different thing. I, I almost didn't have the SD card in. Yeah, it's been a while. I didn't we, have the microphone cable going into the camera. when we first had it. But, but but back to the start, we made lots of very simple mistakes. And I brought one up just before starting. It's that we have um, some lighting here. 
and f- I don't even the the cover, diffuser the diffuser we we didn't even put the diffuse like the the light diffuser wasn't light over diffuser. our lights we just had we were looking a at a bare lamp. like phosphorescent lamp glaring at our eyes so if we try to film two episodes in a day or three by the end of it I turned to Morgan and his whole eyes would be bloodshot <laughs> you could see in a lot of our episodes our eyes look very bloodshot we we filmed a couple of episodes as well where the power to all of our microns and stuff wasn't ever turned on so I've got <laughs> hours of recording where we have zero sound at all and then there's times where we filmed and you came back a day later and the microphones were still recording. You'd open the laptop up and it's still and going. It was recording for a few days straight. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we made a lot of mistakes. Um, Our previous camera, the one we used for maybe the first 10 episodes. That, that died. That, yeah, my... Uh, R.I.P. Do you still have Canon it Canon EOS 70D. Fine for taking photos. I just... I just... Uh, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. Yeah, all right. I think it's over there somewhere. But yeah, that just that started dying on me. That um, literally died, like mid episode. It kept crashing. So mid season, we upgraded our microphones Wait, and real. Per, per. Can you remember? So it was episode ten that that happened. Mm. National Trust. Yeah. Can you remember what you were talking about? Which was mo- one of Mother's favorite National Trust sites. No. It wasn't it like Hatton Park or something? With the toilets. Do you remember describing the toilets multiple times? <laughs> you kept cutting me off. We had to do one paragraph multiple times. Because I kept laughing and then you would cut me off saying, Well, you don't need to mention toilets. Like, You've just ruined the whole flow. We're going again. And we did that maybe ten times through. But the camera kept dying. And the camera kept dying. That was what made us And do it then we thought times. we'd finish filming it. And two of the files were completely corrupted and we couldn't save mm-hmm. them. Yeah. So then we had to film it again and it completely died. So then we needed to get a camera and we just rejigged it all. We got the new microphones, which please give what us you your think? feedback. It should be a lot better. Which, if anyone who's setting up a podcast or YouTube channel, yeah, audio. Most important thing. And what are the mics and the dynamite? Mics yeah, microphones. are... Sure, SM7Bs, which are pricey, but the best thing about them is their resale value is super high. Mm, as long as um, the Dynamites here, uh, SE DM1 Dynamites, you can plug them straight into. We have we use a Focusrite 2i2. Um, can plug them straight into there, but I kind of thought it was cool having a stick of Dynamite um, actually attached to our mic stand. But that just color. Yeah, I mean, whether it really makes a difference or not, I don't know. Everyone says it does. The audio definitely was a large improvement when we first got it. Yeah, and the feedback on the audio has been massive. And now, first ten episodes, video quality is better. My breath the whole time. So yeah, I think the best way to sum up chaos. (laughs) Even right now, we're just constantly rolling out every problem we've had. There's a lot more. There are a lot more. There's a definitely a lot more. Not knowing how to talk about certain topics. We, we, we've we got episodes which we might show in the future, which we decided we had to change completely because once mm. we filmed it and went back over it, they were so bad or so poorly structured and everything about them wasn't right because it was our first ever time trying mm. to do them. That it just didn't work. Yeah. Our food episode, which was episode two, episode three? Four. Four. <laughs> Finally got that. That was the next one. That was a ver- that we still haven't done an episode like that again. Yeah, because we completely removed ourselves from normal environment. We did the London one, but that was very different. Mm. We haven't done one yet like that one. Yeah, but I think the next we, we will we will definitely do more. And we we tried the two main episodes we cut with drinking episodes. One was different teas from around the world, and one was national drinks just in general. Um, and national. I- National, National drinks, drinks is just fun. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that was a funny episode to film. Um, but I think in the future we will do it again. But we just uh, we we're quite early on and less confident at that point. And I don't think we 
knew what structure we want or what structure works for a podcast. We didn't yeah. didn't know what would work for that. Um, but so we've spoken about a couple of episodes here. What was your favorite episode to film? Favorite one to film? I've really enjoyed talking about our Australia one. I think half of the fun. fun was that, and that's one of the reasons why I think we got some good feedback. Was I think we were enjoying it almost too much. <laughs> And we, fought, we just had silly arguments or conversations about things which were really tiny and just blew them up. So Tim Tam conversation we spoke yeah, about this Tim couple of times. Tim Tam like Look at, back at that and I was thinking, oh, so ridiculous. But in the Penguin. time of filming, I was so into arguing about Tim Tam versus Marmite. We didn't even realise that we spent that long discussing it. Yeah, it was a good 15 minutes. It was crazy. But we, but we enjoyed it. And Sports that, episode, love that. That was definitely one of the... Well, and we've probably gone a bit too far here, but right at the start, we were very sort of factual-ish, but kept on point. And then after sort of the Australia episode and a few more people saying that they liked our stories and hearing more about us. So we start wandering off a bit. And now we've Good been, old tangent. I mean, Will doesn't even know what this episode is I've no idea about, what this episode's about. But we have gone off on massive tangents. We've answered questions that I was going to talk about later on <laughs> we haven't answered earlier ones and now i just don't know where this is going but after that we started doing more stories and we have some of our more popular episodes like the random uh the random stories episode was yeah. quite popular yeah that was popular i think because then it's whenever you go traveling even when we're traveling you always start talking about your most ridiculous stories and the funny things that happen We've got more silly stories that we've barely ever spoken about. Mm. There are a few which do stick in my mind, like all of us turning around and telling one of the guys in our group when we're hiking the South Kantai Trail and just going, Tano, I bet you can't catch that chicken. And we're all just tidying up, and, unpacking and, uh, our bags. Yeah, and he said says, didn't even guys, look. guys, and we all turn around and he's just holding the chicken. He went and captured someone's chicken with his bare hands and then we just all... Cry laughing and he, he just, just walked he up just, to it and he just, it up. Yeah, he just put it down it and then just uh, grabbed a beer and opened it. I think the chicken knew he was Canadian and was just like, <laughs> he, he's going to be... He's, he's a nice one. Yeah, he's going to handle me well. <laughs> but yeah, what is our next question, Morgan? And let's see if we've already answered it. Next question. Well, the next question is my favourite episode, but you know, we'll, we'll, we'll move on from that. Um... What what would we like to do more of in the podcast for following seasons? What what sort of even if it's not necessarily podcast, what what do you want to do with best kept secrets travel? I'd love for us to get viewers and listeners to send viewers in viewers and listeners. That'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we'd like more viewers and listeners. Um. I'd like them to send in suggestions or questions and then we can base certain episodes around them and show them how we'd go about that situation, whether they're put in a situation when they're traveling and they look back on it and wish they did something differently. Mm -hmm. They're put in a situation and they thought they did something well, but wonder if we would do something differently. Yeah. So basically, Say, oh, we really want to travel somewhere. Yeah. There are all these different questions about So, So build more of a community, basically, so that yeah. we can interact more with you guys and you can interact more with us and it means that i can talk to him less and talk to you more which... and i can talk to you more and i can talk to him less he doesn't actually want to do that um but i think it would be what yeah but what sort of episodes do you want to do where do you want to take it i think it'd be fun to film a whole episode overseas we have to go over well we are going over the season less than we are maybe weeks. maybe we'll film that there um episode overseas um i think we need to do the thing is we've got a few big ideas out there i mm -hmm. think it's just how we execute it and the yeah. timing of it because we do have some big things planned where we do want to call out some big influences mm -hmm. i think we need to get to the exact point where when we do that something may come of it. Yeah, speaking of planning, we do talk a lot about planning trips 
in our episodes and just in general. Especially episode one. So if you've never come across us before, go back to the first episode of the season and watch that now. It's the first time I think Will has ever got the episode number correct. So I gave him a little round of applause. If you go to uh, episode (laughs) five our season, you hear Morgan say episode four at the beginning of it. That is true. That was another mistake that I sent you a video of earlier today. (laughs) Do you know what that episode was on? Hagley. Well done. And yeah, we do a lot of planning. And I think I'd like to develop that more. Yeah. And then maybe, because we did a PDF in the first episode and maybe yep. we can build on that in season two and maybe build more sort of resources that people can use to help plan their trips yeah i i, I think that entwines into what i was saying about trying to get more of the viewers and listeners joining in is i'd love someone to say i've really been struggling to plan this trip or this is an absolute trip a lifetime can you guys help help me sort of plan it i'd love to go into a really intensive breakdown getting to the point as if we're literally about to book the tickets ourselves, but from their perspective and show that whole route through there. Well, I think that'd be exciting. That is definitely an episode that I would like to do with you is that I fly you somewhere and I plan the whole trip for you. You have no idea what's coming. Well, we'll just tell you. We have a happens. few crazy episode ideas as well about seeing going on a holiday for X amount of money and seeing how much we can get out of, that amount of money. Have you spoke about showing people traveling on a hundred pounds? Yeah. From A to B, from the day you wake up, you only have a hundred pounds each. Oh. And, but then we're talking about doing that one is having a debit card and two doing that just with cash. Yeah. Because the second you need to exchange that cash, you're in a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's a good one. And I know that, uh, you want to do more food and cooking. A lot of food. Yeah. Especially when we're traveling, I want to do some food reviews. Just mini shorts, little little clips and snippets for people. Clips and snippets. So did you, you went to Lisbon recently? Was mm. there? I'd really been missing sardines due to all the lockdown. So in season two, are we going to have a Lisbon episode? Um, I've already planned a bit of it. So. Are you saying that I need to talk about Lisbon? So, so Were you we... saying I, I, I was meant to have recorded an episode out there and I don't know about it? Oh no, you did. Yeah. Will, Will, other Will filmed it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Will went with Will and Will filmed Will. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll talk about Lisbon. I'll talk about Lisbon in season two. I've just been told about this, but yep. Yeah, so that's definitely coming. Um, so more deep dives, but we're also, as we've spoken before, we're going to move more into interviews. What would be... So start off, we'll probably have a few friends. We'll have, we've will have we already been in contact with a few other podcasts and there are some people who have approached us who want to be interviewed. What would be Zach some Efron, of your dream? David Attenborough. Are they the yeah. people who have approached us? They're the people us? who have approached us. Yeah. Um, I turned around to Davey A and I just went, you know what, mate? I know you've got Blue Planet on and stuff, but I really don't have time to fit you into my schedule. Mm. And phew, he was pretty annoyed. Oh, I bet he was. Yeah. Bet he was. Uh, so what What other more... Bigger people. Yeah, bigger people. Big, bigger people about the world and travel than David Asper. Um, I mean, I have the list that you've already given me. To be honest, <laughs> well, there are a few people I'd be fascinated by to interview mm. about travel, but from such a different perspective. So, of course, there's Attenborough. As yeah. much as I joke, I think I would quiz... I'd break it into sections. I'd quiz Attenborough about wildlife. I would go for someone quite rogue. I'd go for Louis Theroux or Stacey Dooley on people, mm. just on people and some of that side of it. Because I think what they've witnessed is something that no regular person can, just because they've yeah. had the back in the camera and like then their names have really now helped them get to Mm. See and witness, sadly, really tragic things, but I'll be so, so inquisitive around that. Someone else, I'm thinking, oh, food, food. Absolutely love to interview Rick Stein. That's dream. That would be cool. Rick Stein, just based on the fact I love fishing and fish, and that's what he's known for, but as well, he's traveled all around the world now. Mm. Eating food, just did an amazing s- series on um, India. 
God, it makes me hungry just thinking about it now. But we've just had a curry. Yeah, I <laughs> we really did. But they're, they're my three. Who who would you go for? Oh, I think for sort of. So what? So you I'll, I'll I'll give you categories. Extreme travel. Ed Stafford. Why? So he does these really cool trips and videos. So he hikes through uh, the Amazon. He's done these really cool TV shows called Into the Unknown, where they find this really Is random... that what Elsa's song is based off? Yes. Yes. So he sings it the whole time. He basically goes out with a camera on his own and films it all himself. And they'll find something on Google Earth that they can't explain and they don't have a clue what it's for. And then they'll actually go there in real life and just go into like the middle of nowhere in Papua New Guinea and really weird places like that. Um, for people, I think someone like Bald and Bankrupt would be very interesting. Um, someone like Indigo Traveller would be very interesting. Yeah. So he's currently... Oh, He goes to a lot of sort of war zones and he's either in, Ye he's in Yemen. That's what about photography? Who would you go, who would you go for photography? I think some, um, it's not really travel photography, but Peter McKinnon would be really interesting. Okay. Um, Sam Calder for more travel drone photography yeah he well he, he he's gram sort of lifestyle isn't he yeah um an attempt of storytelling but not in the same way as like a nat geo photography yeah. does uh but i think another another random one would be uh going to talk to someone about space travel now Elon that's becoming, Musk. or even that there's the there's that more recent one that's come out with the like, <laughs> Jeff hot Bezos. air balloon. <laughs> oh, the hot air balloon the world air record. Balloon one. Not not the world record. There's a new like hot air balloon. Oh yeah. Carbon yeah. neutral space travel thing, which again they would be really interesting. And tickets, I think they're the cheapest tickets for visiting space. Yeah. Like something like fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> So you know, like budget travel, <laughs> budget travel, that, that's budget space travel. In our next season, Morgan and I are going to be traveling to space for Asia via space <laughs> for one hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, Ryanair got some cheap flights. <laughs> During this podcast, we've spoken a lot to each other. We have spoken a lot. Too much. It's been too <laughs> much. I kind of want to know what what do you think you've learned from doing this? And this absolutely experience? nothing so far yeah nothing well your memory is still like a goldfish i can tell you that <laughs> um i'd say i'd say this is really sad i'd say one of the best things was when morgan came up with the, the deep dive concept he used to type out or get page after page of information i'm still and i haven't in such a long time have to sit down and read such a quantity of information and then when doing the episode and we we did them in a very different style right at the beginning. We were very much line by line by line, and then we tried to make that more fluid. Right at the beginning, my reading skills just went five times, ten times mm. better because I was reading so much more than I normally do. Yeah. I'd say our confidence has jumped up. Confidence, definitely, yeah, speaking in, in front of, in front of the camera. a camera. Uh, it feels less weird talking to yeah, something I, when no one's even behind it. Yeah, I definitely think at the start we were slightly nervous about what to say and what not to say. Like we overthought the process. And mm. also I think our storytelling's improved. And I definitely notice when I'm telling stories in normal times outside of in front of the camera for you guys, I can definitely, I'm getting messed up with words here, but I can definitely tell a story much better than I used to be able to. Yeah. And I notice myself doing things that I do on the podcast in real life that I used to not do before, which I think is quite strange. Yeah, that was one of the weirdest bits was when I was editing all the episodes at the beginning of the season. I was just watching us and it was analysing both of our habits. 
and you're sat there just watching all of our different different habits that we do mm. so actually when i have an object whether it's this microphone or the mug my hands move or a lot a less or a beer agreed my hands move a lot less whereas if it's if this were here then you'll see in the earlier episodes particularly my hands move a lot more is if i'm deciding to do or if you're on your gap yard i was mine i'm doing sketch exactly so that's where um yeah yeah I'd, I'd say i'd say that sort of rounds it up for me is confidence in front of a camera <laughs> just reading um and i think even in our daily lives now that's where it's picked up the most is when we think through certain conversations mm. especially at the beginning that's when i saw the biggest difference yeah and i think even even if no one was watching us which technically no one is watching us right now but you. I still think I've gained... Well, you is us. There's only us in the room. I still think I've gained a lot from doing this season. Oh, 100%. And I'm quite excited about it. And it's it only going to get bigger. It's only going to get bigger. And better. So better. season three, we've already got season three and season four confirmed by Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only... And then they're going to make Louis Theroux making a documentary on us. Yeah. Afterwards. We got... Uh, Ross Edgley wants to put us to the test. We've got Marvel want us to be new superheroes called the British Backpackers. Yeah. They're just two guys. What's our superpower? Uh, We can trek through time. Not bad. Do we age? Um, No. We, We age into the certain age and then we just deadpan there. Hmm. And that age in particular is 26. 26. <gasps> Still going to get older. Yeah. Oh, a lot can happen. Are we, Morgan? I have no Our idea. Our viewers and listeners don't know how old we are. Yeah, I'm 36. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so obviously we've done, I've done a lot of research <laughs> <laughs> uh, for for the podcast and we've learned a lot during during these episodes from what we've spoken about where are the places that you want to go that we've talked about in season one and what episodes did we talk <laughs> I really want I really want to go to Bali I actually really want to go see the blue lava that was, yeah, the, that was the, the first yeah, thing that came to my mind that was when one you... of the things that we got so excited about the when blue actually, lava sounds insane. When we actually filmed that, we were so excited. In after. Indonesian episode. Yeah, and I think Budapest. We've I've wanted to go to Budapest for ages. <laughs> tried so many times. <laughs> Lockdown didn't help because I think we were planning on going then. Yeah, planning. To, uh, yeah. I, uh, so Budapest, yeah. Budapest is going to happen 2022. Mark my words. <laughs> It's going to happen. I'm nearly booking the flights as we speak. Oh, yeah. You're that confident. It's going to be first quarter. First quarter? Yeah. <laughs> Is that busy season for you? Yeah. Morgan's training to be a chartered accountant. But, se- but second quarter's exam season, so it can't really no, be it can't done. be done. Bar Easter, I'm doing a big trip. The Easter, because I've got to use those bank holiday days. Okay. For extra days. Right, back, back, back to the chat. So... Budapest was already on our list to do. Blue Lava, 100%. Got mm-hmm. to be a new one. What else? Rwanda for me. Yeah. For sure. Love to do that. It would be nice if it was a bit cheaper. I really like to go to the old old wonders of the world, the old seven wonders of the world. Well, I went to one, didn't I, recently? <laughs> Apparently. I went to the Colossus of Rhodes. I mean, I couldn't see it, but it was apparent. Was it the there. M25? Yeah. <laughs> No, I went to Rhodes, um, but I haven't seen any of the other ones. That's the other thing. I've been meaning to finish the Seven Wonders of the World. Well, last year. It was meant to be finished in 2020 for me. Was it? Just, yeah, I, want, I was planning to do both of them in 2020, and just because of COVID, it messed everything up. Because I've only got two left. I've got the Great Wall of China and Petra. Hasn't happened. Desperate for that to happen. Mm. 
Petra, I think, would be insane. Petra. Oh, On sleep opposite it. Yeah, that'd be so Like nice. um, Idiot Abroad. This but, will just be Idiots Abroad. Yeah. <laughs> Which I think is one of our early reviews. Yeah. <laughs> that Idiot Abroad was taken. <laughs> Thanks. It was that Megan or Rachel? They probably both thought it. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else what we've gone through that I desperately tear out. But a lot of season one is a lot of season one as well though is us talking about our experiences. So we've experienced it right. Yeah. And out of your experiences, Chernobyl's not really near the top of my list. Anywhere. Yeah. Morgan. Alexander. <laughs> Predictably unpredictable. What is the part of season one that you found hardest to get your head around? Or the bit that you found the toughest to to nail? Well, the hardest thing to nail has definitely been uh, Will's time. Um, if we had... Of your, cell, your own personal <laughs> growth, what have you found the toughest part of doing the podcast? I guess one of the tough things in general with doing the podcast is the times that we end up filming. Like, we're often... Either we've been on a night out and it's the next day that we're doing things or we're here and it's late in the evening. We're on a midweek, film. yeah. Um, so I think the times of filming, which will get much easier when we live together, yeah. which we're going to move out in September 2021. <laughs> I think I say 2020 there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll be moving out. Uh, I'd sooner or later <laughs> eventually I guess the, the hardest bit which isn't really a hard bit because we've done a lot of travelling is not being able to travel as much as we'd like to during this time whilst we're filming because we would have liked to have originally we had plans to do more pod vlogs and actually go out and travel and film more but we ended up having to change the episode slightly to talking more about our past experiences because we haven't been able to make new experiences yet or too many new experiences. Yeah, I, th I think COVID's limited. Not, ju not just for us, though. It's, I yeah, think... it's social distance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I think COVID's been an interesting one for it all because we obviously really want to get out there, but... I think it's been able to slow us down and just appreciate the ridiculous stuff we have experienced at the same time. Mm. Because I think it's so easy to get lost in that traveling bug. And we've, we've even been on holidays where by the end of the Australia, Australia section of the New Zealand, Australia, we both turned around and went, does New Zealand not just feel like ages ago? Months. And I think sometimes there's a danger in that, that you lose touch with, just how amazing it is to to be away to be out there yeah, to be camping on the ground i think there's an aspect to that i mean i love getting lost in that that fun travel zone but i think there's a slight danger in going too far into it yeah for me i'd always want to come back i would never just sunny side on moving i uh, I, you I, wouldn't just live out of camp for the I rest think, of your life i think ideally i'd travel three months a year is that it? I, as in for the rest of my life. As in... Like that in... Yeah. That's your ideal. You win the Euro Millions jackpot tomorrow. How many days a year are you travelling? I'm still becoming a chartered quali qualified... And that person. kid is why... <laughs> Not stopping my job. <laughs> you don't stop your job for chartered council. No, I'd still work. Anyway, <laughs> to properly round it up now, Morgan. In a circle. You've got five seconds to think of it. If you could travel tomorrow to one place for a week, where would you go? Antarctica. And like, subscribe, ring that notification bell, follow us on all podcast 
platforms. And Morgan, what are they going to do? They're just... <laughs> They're not going to do anything. They're going to sit back, relax, and... And roll the outro. Yeah, let's make it happen. I hope that you can handle uh, going on adventures, best kept secret travels. Yeah, all over the globe, having fun. You know the deal. Amazing secret locations. Hang out with Morgan and Will. Uh, educating, entertain, haggle in the market. Uh, sharing their experiences. Time to get it started. Let's go.